vacation started here at this all-inclusive resort. The room was nice. It was kind of a regret, kind of a major regret. Food was pretty terrible. This beach coming up, this was pretty much an unusable beach in my opinion. I mean, you could tell they're fighting trying to clean that up, but I wasn't going to swim in that. Short cab ride over to the pier area. That beach looked nice in Playa de Karma. I mean, clean, people were playing in it. This was the boat ferry over. I would say the lower level was uninhabitable. You kind of want to sit in the second level of that boat. When you sit on the roof, it's too hot. This is our first Airbnb. It was cool. Lots of military presence around that spot. View is nice. First night we went to Blue Angel Resort, which in hindsight, I would have probably booked my old vacation here. Food was good, drinks were amazing, service was great. Yeah, big salad. Scuba Life Dive Center. I can't say enough positive things about this place. This was a motel we had to check in in Cozumel two days later because the Airbnb, we were only able to book it for two days and we ended up being on Cozumel for four or five days. Million dollar view. Uh, the rest of it was pretty much dilapidated, falling apart. A lot of times the water didn't work. Like I said, view is absolutely amazing. Nighttime, it was pretty rugged out there. There was always glass breaking, screaming, yelling. So this was like the third or fourth day of dive school. And all the training was pretty much done. And this was the first day that we were actually getting just to kind of dive and relax and not have to do all of the uh, maneuvers and learn everything we needed to learn. This was very technical and very serious with high consequences. So I didn't film any of the actual class. We're still with our dive master, super cool. His name's Jorge. If you book with Scuba Life, I would definitely try to get Jorge. I mean, that guy was just amazing. Taught us everything I felt we needed to know. Uh, I'll just roll some of the dive footage. This was a fun little spot for a few hours. We were enjoying ourselves, having some drinks. Food was okay. Then it kind of seemed like, I guess we'll just call it the riffraff, kind of rolled in once it started getting dark and it was just time to leave. This was the last day of diving. No more schooling at all. 
this is where we went our deepest. I think we were 64 feet at one point. Just an amazing dive all the way around. So those guys were in a program called Discovering Scuba. So they weren't trying to get certified. You can just roll into this company and pay for the day. And they'll give you like a short rundown and you can dive just like everyone else. So they joined us on the boat today. Super neat people. There were four of them. They're from Greece. And yeah, that was pretty neat. That's originally what we were going to do was just pay for the Discover Diving. But then we, the more we looked into it, the more we were like, you know what, let's just get certified so we can just dive wherever we want in the world.
last night in Cozumel. Beautiful sunset. Did a little sightseeing the last day in Cozumel. Back in Playa, this was kind of interesting to watch. I and mean, then someone showed up with a bucket demanding cash for us watching. So I didn't think it was that interesting, so we left. Back to the Playa Resort, and we got Polo Feliz delivered to our room again. And we're back home. Thanks for watching.